Okay, welcome back. So we've made loads of new sign-ins, which um, we made loads. So anyway, let's go to the released players. Yep, as you can see, we released absolutely loads. What I like to do is I like to release um, a lot of players and then I like to bring in a load so yeah um, uh, I that's just something I've always done on this save but anyway um, let's let's go through all the sign ins um, oh let's go through the outs so we got rid of Tom Gibson to Wrexham um, he didn't have that much of decent potential. Also, Jonathan Davies went to Arsenal for 8k. And you would be like, oh, he's your best midfielder. Why would you sell him? Well, 8k is 8k. And also, you have to remember which bro, uh, uh, international, which bro with the Gibraltar manager. So, yeah. Um, we got rid of this dude from me because because he wasn't good enough and Mark same as Mark Mitchell um, and we've loaned all these players out some names you'll recognize some you won't um, so we'll go through some of these players so this is a guy who's basically I tried to sign up all the young Gibraltarian players to see what they were like but I don't think any of them will end up being good enough. So um, I think I'm going to stop that. Because I, I, want, um, I want players to um, be um, playing for good teams basically. Um, so this guy came in from Jena. Who are third division German side? Um, then Michael Francis came in from Harrogate Town. Um, he's Gibraltarian as well. He's um, going to be going out on loan. As you can tell, he's not good enough. Jonathan Nisha, I thought would be the best out of the bunch, he isn't too great. He came in from Basel. I believe for the under twenty ones a few times. No, please back in Switzerland. So yeah. Um, Tomislav Nakic, who's quite a decent player. I'm gonna sort of. I'm gonna try and play him. Actually, I think I might put him up for loan as well while we're here. Um. Um. He came in from Istra. He used to play, he started his career at Dynamo Zagreb, which is good. Um, then we bought in Steve Campbell, who's a good uh, centre-back as well. He came in from Southampton, he had a loan at Morecambe last season. Uh, Theodore Corbinell is a decent right winger, he came in from Wolves, he's been on loan at Dynamo. Enzo Dominguez is a okay player. Uh, he played for um, KN and he, he is a left back. Um, Kamal Sowa, he came in from Leicester. He's a really good player. Um, I, he actually went on loan to Lincoln Red Imps not too long ago. Um, also, what I think I'm going to do is quickly go through these um so we got leon summer who isn't as amazing we've got way better players than him branimir dukic is actually he won't be good enough he came in and he's out on loan um fabio coppo is a decent player he's a Tuck in mid, he came in from Italy. Yakov Katsuka is okay. 
He came in from Zadal. Javier Quinones, he's Qatari in the national. He was really good when he joined, but now he's not so good. Um, Juan Manuel Pavon, he's quite decent. He came in from Sabadell. Andrea Cuomo is okay. He won't get. He probably won't get much game time though. Abdu Torre, um, probably just cover to be honest. Mike Kendrick is under one of those, another one of those players. So is Anthony Perez. Norman Richardson isn't good enough. Neither is Johnny Barfield. I can't remember this guy, but. He's not really good enough. Um, this guy is a backup keeper. Um, he could end up being good, but I wouldn't bet my life on it. Um, here's another really good winger. For some reason, we got good wingers this transfer window. He came in from Shalleroy. Quarantine Cal here. Uh, he's not good enough. Um, this guy's not good enough. Neither is Angel Ruiz. Robert Jock is alright. He can play right wing and striker. He, people actually... Rudolf Valenci bought him for money. What an absolute mistake that was. Christopher Harine. Um, he came in on a free... Nathan Thompson is out on loan to Gillsfield. It's the other one. There's this dude, Charlie Brown. He's really good. Annoyingly, he's injured. So, that is frustrating, really. Um, I can't remember if these guys are good or not. Oh, yeah, I brought um, this dude in as backup. He's had a few games at the third tier of French football. Ahmed Colley. Um, same as this guy, I brought him in as a backup right back. He played for Mets in the past. Lexus Collet, he's another one brought in as backup because I noticed I didn't have many right midfielders and left midfielders. And I brought in Zama on loan to cover those areas. You may remember him last year. Elliot McPhee is a loanee as well for centre back. And Ryan Moreno, he came in on a free. He's not good enough. He played for Hartley Pool. So, yeah, now we're through all of that. Um, let's go through the fixtures. So, we play B13 6 Torshavin. Here we beat 4 0 in the fir first leg. And then we beat um, 7 0 in the second at home. We then played Valarekovic, who we beat 3 1. Then we drew 1 0 at home somehow, which it doesn't matter too much. Let's look at the attendance. That wasn't very good. Neither was that. But we got, we got St. Joseph's and Videoton um, in the Champions League. So hopefully we can get through that. Here's the um, odds and all that in the season preview. As you can see, we've got literally every player apart from TJ the Bar, which is jokes. Um, here's my manager profile. Here's my contract. And um, see, let's do the go through the club info. Um, I don't think the season ticket holders have updated yet, you know, even though we're one game away from playing the first game. Here's all our stuff, corporate facilities, basic corporate facilities, training facilities, below average training facilities, their analysts, state of the art, data analysis, analysis facilities, below average facilities for the youth facilities. If you need coaching and new recruitment are just good. We're upgrading our 
um, new facilities and training the facilities. Here's the amount of money we got. Also, we were in a process of a board takeover, but we've been taken over by Shane Gavizo. Um, so yeah, um, he's taken over. Um, it's not really anything else I can think of showing you. So um, the Gibraltar football team, I'll show you that. We, so we played Senegal in a friendly we beat them 2-0. We then played Uganda, who we drew 0-0. We then played Wales, who we lost 4-0. Then we played Romania, who we drew with 1-0. We then lost to Croatia, who we lost 5-1. And we played England, and we lost 3-0. So that set us out. Um, so here was the final final um, draw uh, the final group and uh, Germany beat Holland in the Euros so yeah um, we are 131st in the world um, so yeah um, our next is tournament is the Nations League the UEFA Nations League so anyway um, I'll see you guys halfway through the season.